Hi, I'm Abby Traxinger, and this is Lucy Hughes, and together we created games for girls. We wanted to make this gym because we don't want to fear going to the gym anymore. Because of past experiences that continue to make us dread working out with men, we hope to find out more women feel the same way. Knowing we've had and know others that experience feeling unsafe makes us want to speak our voices. So we know that others are struggling with this too. By the end of our journey in class, together we hope to create a gym that brings women together to make a positive experience. Okay, this is Sarah. Sarah puts on a workout outfit and is ready to make a change in her lifestyle. She wants to start to be healthy and to feel healthy, but that went downhill when the guys at her campus gym made her feel very uncomfortable. She finds gains for girls. She realizes that she can do her entire workout free of any intimidation without any creepy men staring at her. She realizes that she has support from her woman peers that make her feel comfortable without any, without any intimidation from men and free of her, not, free of her physical traits and not her sexuality. Our total addressable market is a $16.6 .6 billion potential market. This represents women in the United States between the ages of 13 and 30. The serviceable addressable market is a $11.6 million potential market and this is reduced to the population of Madison. Our share of market is a $68,000 market which is 300 customers in our first year of business. We are different than your everyday gym because we are in eliminating the uncomfortableness and judgment many girls face every day. Gyms co coming from experience, many girls experience, are, many girls are insecure due to feeling like they are not enough or not doing enough as the people around them. Here's some of our social, social media advertising. So we'll be doing Google ads, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook, and then word to mouth since it's costless. The goal of our MVP test is to drive potential customers to our website to sign up as early adopters. By doing this, we will prove that there is an interest and a market for our business. Our goal for our early adopters is to get 100 people to sign up to show that they're interested in our business. So our MVP investment, we will be spending $15 for web domain and then $85 to spend on social media advertising. Thank you, do you have any questions? What was the, um, the target market again? You said ages, what, 13 to 30? Yeah. And you were focusing on the Madison area? Yeah. Um, can you give me a little background on why you, why you chose that as your target market? Well, the gyms in our town, like our town's small, obviously, like they said. So I think Madison, and she goes to the campus there, and the campus gym is just another way to work out. But we thought that bringing this gym into the Madison area would be more beneficial than a small town like Fond du Lac. Okay, so then you're, again, kind of like her ride, focusing more on the college yeah. student population then. That's where we're focusing on, but okay. if someone, like, if older people want to come in, that's perfectly fine. We're not like, it's only 13 to 30, but that's our main focus. Okay. What background testing did you do to determine that this was a need? Um, personal experiences that made us want to do this because if we had this around we'd use it so knowing personal experiences and having felt the way that we do and like hoping that other people feel the same way and if we make it that they'll want to use it too. So did you look at the competition of if you're focusing on Madison as a geographical area did you look at what gyms there are in the Madison area as your competition? I mean, is any, are there anything out there that's it's, related to just female oriented? Um, we saw one thing and it was, we looked at like places we could and I think me and Mr. Wismer found, it's an old business called Curves and it's mm -hmm. like, they make workouts specifically for women, mm -hmm. but that's not what we want to do. We want to make sure that girls can do the same thing that they're doing, but just in a safer environment and not change what they're doing. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Is Curves even in existence anymore? I don't remember. It's, it's, <laughs> but that's the only thing that we found that was close yeah. to what we're doing. It was around in the 90s. Yeah. Thank you. So 
I, I, I'm just coming from experience too. I mean, the whole, I mean, it's great that, you know, it's only for women, but sometimes women can be mean to other women too. I mean, how are you going to take care of that issue of being, you know, non judgmental from one another type of thing, you know? <laughs> um, you, I mean, you can't really stop that, so like, there's nothing that we, we really can do about that, but hoping that, like, they're there for the same reason, to not be judged, that they'll respect other people there and make them feel the same way. And I don't know, like we're just trying like to create like a good like mindset place for girls to work out, so we think that other girls with the same issues will help girls with the same issues. Kind of like Planet Fitness, no judgment zone. Yeah, like that's that. what we, Kind of really yeah. promote that as your culture type of thing. Any other questions? All right. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. job, ladies. Thank you.